Over the period from the 60s to the 80s, rough sleeping became more and more of a housing issue, as previously it had been poor conditions, overcrowding, long waiting lists. Mm -hmm. But in the 80s and early 90s, rough sleeping became much higher profile. And I remember we met around that time in 1991 originally. Can you say a little bit about that time and what it was that uh, you felt was important? I think that the prime motive was to uh, get people who were sleeping rough, uh, shortening their lives, going through all sorts of risks, getting them off the street uh, and then into an environment where they, we could help them rebuild their lives. I think St Mungo's were involved in the Bullring, mm. which was uh, just outside Waterloo Station. There was a roundabout underground. And I remember going round the Bullring um, at one o'clock one o'clock in the morning. And then, of course, St Mungo's ran quite a few of the hostels under the RSI, the Rough Sleeping Initiative, into which people were persuaded to go, abandoning the, um, the bullring. I, I remember there were uh, some projects, many projects in London at the time, that wouldn't accept dogs. And so we funded a hostel. It may have been one of yours. It was. Yes. Where they did accept dogs. And that enabled a certain number of people who would not be separated from their pets to come off the streets and get into a hostel. Uh, and you mentioned a few times campaigning by charity organisations. Yes. Can you say a little bit about that and what, what it was like to be a politician on the, on the receiving end? Was it, was it helpful or was it, was it uh, difficult sometimes? In a sense it is helpful because um, a lot of this is about money. And if there is a well-organised, uh, factually, soundly based campaign, it actually helps the housing minister in the dialogue with colleagues in government to say, look, this is going up the agenda. It is becoming a serious political issue. Unless we are seen to do something serious about it, we're going to take a hit. When you think about your relationship with us in the past, you think, actually, I wish St Mungo's would tackle something or say things in a certain way or campaign on something. Is there anything that we, you, you feel like we should be doing over the next few years? I think um, continuing to do what you were doing in the 1990s uh, which is a responsible, broad-based campaign to raise the profile and also to come up with um, realistic, affordable options. And I think if they carry on building on those skills and expertise, that's the right way to go.